Hi, are you looking for a way to upgrade your home office setup, but you don't have a huge budget? If so, perhaps this video is going to be helpful for you. Uh, I'm going to show you my full uh, home working uh, setup, and I'm going to give you the full uh, gear list that you can also download. It's going to be uh, in the link in the description. So I'm just going to give you a full rationale behind uh, this setup. Perhaps it's not the most beautiful setup you have ever seen, but it's really highly functional and it's great for productivity. So let's just go through some of these items uh, uh, and then I'm going to tell you why I have chosen them. Okay, so the first thing on the list is uh, MacBook Pro M1, uh, 14 inch. So uh, this is not a hugely expensive machine, but it's really great. It really transformed uh, my productivity. Uh, I'm basically, when I switched from uh, Windows, I was amazed at how really fluid and uh, just productive uh, this whole thing is. So if you are into uh, digital marketing, uh, content creation, uh, this is uh, an absolute game changer. So I highly recommend uh, getting a Mac. I was wor working on a Windows and Really, it's like a night and a day. Uh, the other thing here is a standing uh, desk. So mm, a standing desk is really uh, a game changer as well uh, because it really improves the ergonomics uh, of your work. So I have these uh, three uh, buttons here. Uh, they um, can uh, basically, they have this memory function. So basically I just, uh, when I hit one, it just goes to down uh, to like a very perfect uh, height. And then when I hit two, it's like the standing desk setup. And then number three, it's like a perfect um, height for a video recording. Uh, so uh, this has been a game changer for sure. Uh, and I also have this uh, wobble board over here. So sometimes I'm just uh, standing right here on uh, the wobble board uh, and I also have this uh, spiky uh, kind of um, foam roller. Uh, so when I'm working, I can uh, just, uh, you know, uh, get some foot massage. So this is really great in terms of ergonomics because you don't want to be sitting uh, around for the whole day. And speaking uh, of ergonomics, the next thing on the list here is the uh, Logitech Lift uh, mouse. Uh, this is the most ergonomic uh, mouse I have ever used. It has been a complete game changer for me as well. So it fits really well uh, into uh, your hand and it also has a really high DPI level. So I can just move uh, my cursor around the screen uh, really fast. Mm. So uh, I highly recommend this as well. It's um, Maybe not a perfect solution for uh, like video editing because maybe the 3S, Logitech 3S would be better for that. But just the ergonomics here are un unbeatable uh, and it all um, rests on this uh, Spygen mouse pad. So I have tested many mouse pads, but this one is kind of silky smooth. So then when you are moving your mouse around, it's just really great. Uh, then another thing I have here is the uh, light therapy lamp. So uh, it's this one. Uh, and this is perfect for just winter days when you want to just chill out and uh, get some sun because if you just uh, press it, uh, you can see that it gives off really uh, <laughs> intense light. Uh, you can also change it to this kind of a more uh, sunset mode and you can change the in intensity. So mm, I like to use it for around one hour per day, especially during the winter months. It's really helping me to uh, stay in a good mood uh, for sure. So uh, this is uh, really great. Uh, then I have this uh, Logitech um, Z625 uh, speakers. So these are like two in one speakers. So you have uh, them on both sides here and over here, there's uh, 
this kind of woofer. Uh, this is really perfect. They are not really expensive, but the sound is just amazing. It's so highly recommended. Mm, sunset lamp projector. Uh, it's this one. It's uh, just working on a USB. Uh, so uh, this is really great, uh, especially for the evening when you just want to chill and you don't want to use uh, any overhead uh, lights. Um, the next thing is this uh, extendable uh, camera desk mount. So basically these uh, things over here, they, they use this kind of uh, C-clamp uh, here and they are really extendable. Uh, so you can just set up your uh, lights. So I have uh, my lights uh, over here on both sides and I'm using one for my camera as well. Uh, then a Kensington Orbit Trackball. Uh, so uh, this is really uh, extremely helpful, uh, also in terms of ergonomics. Basically, I like to have uh, many different ways in which I can interact uh, with my setup. So I have the, cam uh, the uh, mouse over here. Then I use uh, this uh, beautiful touchpad uh, from uh, the Mac. And I also have this uh, Kensington uh, trackball. So this is really great because then you can uh, use both of your hands. And it also has this ring over here that you can use uh, for very quick scrolling. So this is especially helpful if you are working with um, just large documents, for example. Uh, then the next thing is this Anchor uh, 553 USB C hub. Uh, so uh, this is really helpful uh, for the Mac. Uh, unfortunately, there are many wires over here. Uh, that's because uh, I still need to upgrade uh, my um, uh, my uh, monitor, uh, but the monitor is still pretty great. It's this kind of LG 32 inch 4K uh, monitor uh, on this amazing um, ergonomic stand. Uh, so uh, it's really doing the job in terms of just uh, productivity and uh, video creation and content creation, digital marketing. It's absolutely perfect, but unfortunately it doesn't have uh, enough power to just uh, power my uh, MacBook directly. So that's why I'm using this Anker USB-C uh, hub. So basically uh, there is a USB cable that's going into the monitor. Uh, and then this hub is just connected also through USB-C uh, to my Mac. Uh, so then uh, all of these peripherals and everything that is hooked up uh, to the back of the monitor is also uh, basically available on mm, the Mac. So in the future, I plan to just upgrade the monitor so that I can just have a single cable that will be going into uh, the Mac. Uh, but okay, that's uh, for the future. Uh, then another thing that I have just invested in is uh, Elgato USB-C Trim Deck Plus. Uh, this uh, thing is absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, so I have just purchased it and I'm just starting to experiment with it. Uh, but uh, it's uh, I can already see that it has a huge potential for uh, increasing my productivity. It's basically, it allows you to... Um, have many different functions and just kind of hotkeys uh, right here in the stream deck. And it also has these infinite knobs uh, that will be extremely helpful for uh, video creation because you can scrub through timelines, you can change uh, volume uh, of things. So this is going to be great. Uh, another thing that I have here is JBL Tune uh, 310C uh, earbuds. Uh, so these just very basic USB-C uh, earbuds, but they have a really great sound. Uh, so um, the, the reason I'm using uh, these USB-C earbuds instead of some you know, more fancy kind of uh, equipment here uh, is that uh, they are perfect for video editing. Uh, because uh, when you are editing video, you don't want to have any latency. So that's why uh, I'm using uh, wired uh, earbuds because I have experimented with wireless ones for video editing, but they are just 
the latency is just too high, so editing is not uh, going really great. So then the next thing we have here is this uh, Neither 176 LED mm, video lights. So uh, it's uh, these ones over here. Uh, you can see that they are pretty intense, so they are really great for uh, just vi creating videos, uh, and they don't take a lot of space, and the battery just, uh, it just takes uh, so long to deplete that you can just use them for days and days without uh, changing uh, the, uh, the battery. But I have my batteries uh, hooked up over here, so I have two spare batteries for this for these lights, and I have one battery for my camera, so then I never uh, run out of juice. Uh, and also, I don't have to use any wires, right, for, for the lights. And then I have this gravity uh, mic holder over here. Uh, this is really great, it's really flexible, uh, and uh, it doesn't take a lot of space uh, as well. And on top of this, I have a Rode Video Mic Go, which really uh, blew me away. It's around $100, uh, and it just connects uh, directly through USB-C uh, to uh, my uh, monitor. Uh, and uh, if you uh, just uh, record in a quiet environment, it's really, uh, it gives a really great uh, recording quality. Then uh, the next thing is Canon M50 camera. This is my old trusty camera. Uh, it's been great, uh, it's very easy to use. Uh, on top of it, I have this uh, Lanzi uh, top handle, so then I can just, uh, you know, unscrew it and just grab it. Uh, it's, it's really great, especially uh, this is really helpful if you are taking uh, your camera for uh, a shoot outside. Just basically the handling of the camera is so much easier, and the camera itself is uh, pretty amazing. And um, on top of it, I have uh, this Sigma 16 millimeter uh, 1.4 uh, lens uh, that is just mind blowing. It gives uh, an amazing uh, quality in 4K. Mm, the only thing is that there is a slight crop uh, on 4K, but it it's not a big deal. Then I have this Logitech Pebble Keys uh, keyboard uh, over here, wireless. Uh, so this is extremely useful. Uh, for uh, just working, for example, from my sofa, or when I'm chilling on my sofa and I just want to uh, control my computer. Uh, so uh, this is uh, a really great deal. It's really highly uh, ergonomic, and uh, it, the battery lasts forever as well. Uh, then uh, I have this Boya wireless uh, lavalier uh, mic over here. So basically it's the same one uh, that I'm using uh, over here, uh, and uh, it's uh, doing a really good job uh, as well. So this is perfect if you want to just uh, record some video on the go. And by the way, I'm recording uh, uh, this video right here uh, with my uh, Pixel 8 uh, phone uh, that has really great uh, 4K uh, video uh, recording capability as well. And finally, we have this DeskView T3 uh, teleprompter. So it's uh, this one uh, right here. Uh, it's uh, not really expensive, but it's really helpful. You basically mount it uh, on your camera, uh, and then you can just record a video uh, much easier if you have a script. Okay, so you can just uh, put a few bullet points um, you mount your uh, phone over here, and then you can just start rolling and recording, uh, even if you don't feel very natural in front of the camera. You can just, you know, read the script in an engaging way. You can just rehearse it, and uh, that's it. And you have this uh, little remote over here that is, uh, you can just use it to start and stop the, mm, the teleprompter. Okay, so uh, that's uh, like, basically uh, the setup over here. I hope that you have found this video useful. As you can see, it's not the most minimal setup, but I love it, and it's really highly functional, and it's great for productivity. Uh, so, 
Uh, the next video I suggest uh, that you watch is uh, a video where uh, I'm talking about my uh, green screen studio setup that is uh, at my office. So you can just check it out over here.